We have a very special relationship. Some people don't understand, but we do. Jill was a very good baby, just smiling and bubbling. She was just so cute. Oh, boy. You always have great expectations for your children. My expectations of what Jill's life was going to be included a husband. So when Nikki came to ask permission to marry our little girl, that startled me. I told her, this is not the dream I had for my daughter. I didn't say yes, I didn't say no. Coming out to the wedding from back east, I had some real apprehensions about it. What's this going to look like? Two girls getting married. You have to make a decision. Are you going to have a daughter that you are going to maintain a very wonderful relationship for the rest of your life? Or are you going to lose that child? This was a situation that I had to come to understand. Once we got out to California and we saw how happy they were, all that trepidation just seemed to go away. That, you know, that was a big, big turning point. Of course, walking Jill down the aisle, just looking at her, she was breathtakingly beautiful. Judy and I were just swelling with the motion. You come to terms with it and you say, this is the very natural order of things in your life. And it's supposed to be this way. When Jill was born, there was a certain spark in her eye and a glow in her heart that quickly became very apparent to Judy and I. When she got a little older, and all of a sudden that spark that I looked for in your eyes, in your heart, I didn't see. And it pained us greatly. And all of a sudden, bam! There's Nikki, and that spark is back. And we are just so happy that we have our Jill back, and now we have Nikki. We love you both. I've dreamt of this, Dad. So have I. So have I. I mean it. I love you. On the uh, trip, I, I came over all the hurdles in the world to get to where I feel I am today.